Hi everybody, I hope you're all having a good evening out there. I had a little time this evening, so I thought I'd get a little work done on this painting. So right now I'm just layering in the background sky. In this case, I don't want a whole lot of detail in the sky because I want the focal point to be uh, somewhere else. And you know I love working on skies. When we live in a state with so many beautiful skies, <laughs> it's hard to resist painting skies. But tonight we're just trying to do a real light background. So what I've done is I grabbed some gesso, some Payne's Gray, as you know is my, one of my favorite colors. And then, what was the color of the blue? It's um, Prussian blue. That's another really good color that I love. And then I'm just taking white and gesso, a little water from the water tank over here. Hi Molly. I don't know if you saw her tail go by. <laughs> she just stopped in for a little bit. And I'm just flipping the brush back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and try to keep the paint um, damp so you can move it better and then sometimes I work straight across but this for this one I kind of want the movement to be in short bursts instead of straight across because this is not going to be a New Mexico scene painting. We're still having our little cold snap so I'm not working outside and I'm still not pa uh, planting the little plants because next week we've got evenings down into the 30s again, which is a little late for here, but it is what it is. So our little plants have to hang on just a little longer. And it's nice that I actually feel like painting. <laughs> That makes me happy. I actually love doing skies. They're one of my favorite things to do. So, and like I said, I don't want the painting to be, the sky to be the total um, focal point. A lot of my paintings, I want the sky to be a pretty big focal point, but not in this case. So, I just keep taking gesso and white and sticking it on top and just kind of flip it around like that. And then also on this painting, we're gonna be, oopsie, there's some water dripping down, but I just caught it with the brush. In this case, I'm not really doing any major clouds or shapes. I just want this, I want it to evoke the feeling of not super bright skies because it's gonna be a fun, I hope, we'll see, but I hope this will be a fun castle painting. I enjoy doing these and whoops, picked up some color on that one. You can see me over here. Because this is for a friend, but I thought, you know, might as well videotape part of it. I don't know if I'll videotape all of it. Just kind of depends. Sometimes the mood to paint hits and it's not a good time to video. That's one of the challenges I have doing the YouTube channel and painting because I kind of paint according to my mood depends. <laughs> and sometimes I have the feeling I just want to paint but the lighting isn't very good for the camera so I may not videotape the whole thing but I will at least walk you through some of the pieces. So I think we have a nice light 
little bit moody sky. It really does make a difference if you keep layering color or white on top of color as we do this and it really makes a big difference keeping it moving and if you're flip flop flip flop like that then you get more depth for it or at least that's what I found in my in my experience so now it kind of looks like it's moving and now we're gonna start to layer in some mountains in the background and these mountains I want to have a little red to them um, like a red tinge so I'm going to use burnt sienna and I'm going to take some phthalo green with it too because I, I also need some brilliant green going on here and this is an experiment. Every one that I start is an experiment. So I don't always get the mountain the way I want it uh, the first time. Because I never really know what I'm going to be doing. So here we go. I'm going to grab some of the sienna and some of the green. And then I'll also grab a little bit of the blue in the uh, gesso and kind of mix it up like that. It's almost purple. And then we're going to bring up a pretty big mountain right here. And this mountain is not going to be rocky. It's going to be very um, grassy. And it's going to get a little bigger because I want it to take up a lot more of the sky here. And the sky is still wet, which is okay. You just kind of work it. And it also works for like fading in a, a mountain that you kind of want in the distance. It's better to have the sky still wet when you're doing that. So you can, it's like faded off so far that you think there's so many more back there. <clears throat> But these aren't going to be rocky, jagged mountains. They're going to be covered in a little bit of grass, some color. And again, you know, it's just about getting the feeling. So I don't like that green. So I'm going to add a little Payne's Gray to the green. Because it's just too um, brilliant of a green it doesn't have a good muted so now I've added the phthalo green I mean the Payne's gray in there and then I'm going to grab a little more color here anyway that's about as far as we're going to go tonight I'll probably work on this for a little bit next time I come back you'll see it a little bit oh, sorry Molly says uh, dad's home okay bye guys